Good morning, it's Clara, and this is Crypto Today. The top story yesterday was about a third-party audit of the ASIC resistant proof-of-work algorithm ProPOW has been funded. Let's see what news are waiting for us today on Tuesday, April 30th. Bact has just announced the acquisition of the digital asset custody company along with several other updates to boost the company's credentials and operations. The ACC's native support of over 100 digital assets and 13 distinct blockchains will serve as an important accelerator for the Beckett platform. On April 26, Washington State Governor Jay Inslee signed SB 5638, an act recognizing the validity of distributed ledger technology into law. The act encourages the development of blockchain, recognizes its use in commerce and digital signatures, and amends legislation to provide definitions for the technology. Hudson Jameson, a communications manager at the Ethereum Foundation and blockchain developer, has revealed that funding for a third-party audit of Ethereum's proposed ASIC-resistant programmatic proof-of-work consensus algorithm has been received. As mentioned, during the last conference call between Ethereum's core developers, the fundraising target of 50,000 DAI on Ethereum-based, USD-packed stablecoin was reached. NEO 3.0 is going to be launched as a new blockchain network and users will need to swap their existing tokens for new ones. The Chinese platform's co-founder and core developer Eric Zhang has said the new chain, which is coming from a new Genesis block, is necessary because several architecture improvements to NEO's performance and stabilities are not compatible with its current blockchain. Tom Lee explained his permanent bullish position on Bitcoin's price and why he believes that in 2020, this asset will achieve new maximums. As per Lee, there are 11 signs that can be generally seen only in bullish crypto markets. Some of them, he says, have shown up. Among them are volumes of on-chain transactions going above the 200-day MA, a golden across formation, and an increase of trading volumes in OTC markets. Lee believes that both technical and fundamental factors for Bitcoin are improving, as well as activities by holders. Outlook, Hotmail, and MSN, several cryptocurrency holders affected by a recent hack alleged that the hackers responsible store their crypto. One victim claimed on a Dutch tech forum to have lost just over one Bitcoin or almost $5,400 at press time when hackers used his email account to reset his password and gain access to his Kraken account. Several Reddit users arrested to similar experiences. Rob Carter, the chief information officer of company FedEx, has called for uniform standards in the blockchain industry. Speaking at the Blockchain Global Revolution Conference, Carter argued that mandated standards would help create uniformity for blockchains used in supply chains. The energy regulator of the Canadian province of Quebec has released new rules for cryptocurrency miners. Under the new regulations, power producer Hydro-Quebec was ordered to allocate 300 megawatts to the blockchain industry.